For this proof, we're going to need a few definitions. The first one is a definition of an open set. So we can state that a set A is open if every point that belongs to the set is interior. And the set that we're considering is a neighborhood. So A is equal to the neighborhood with radius epsilon of a point that we can call x0. So we have our point x0. And we draw a neighborhood, which is just a circle if you're talking about two variables, with a radius of epsilon. So this distance over here is going to be epsilon. So because we need to show that every point in this neighborhood, which we can call x, is interior, now we also need a definition of an interior point. And that definition is that you can draw a, um, a neighborhood around this point. So now we're taking a smaller neighborhood. in which every single point in this neighborhood is going to be in the set. So in this case, we're saying that every point that we have in this neighborhood that we can call Y belongs to our set, which is our larger neighborhood. So basically, we can say that there exists a neighborhood with a smaller radius that we can call epsilon dash around the new point X bar, or not X bar, sorry, X vector, which is contained in the set, and the set is the original neighborhood. So just think of as uh, the original neighborhood as the, the actual set, and then you take a neighborhood within that. So in order to do this, we're going to need also the triangle inequality for vectors. So this one is pretty self-explanatory. It just says that if you have three points, x0, x, and y, the sum of two sides is always going to be larger or equal to the third side. And just to clarify, the only way that it could actually be equal to is if they all lie on the same segment. So if y is somewhere in between x0 and x, then in that case, these distances added together would equal this distance. That's the only way that you can actually satisfy uh, the equation. So generally, we can say that the distance between x0 and x plus the distance between x and y is going to be greater or equal to the distance between x0 and y. So these two added together are bigger or equal to that one. You could write it in different ways, but this is specifically the way that's going to be useful in the proof. So now for the proof, We start off saying that we take uh, the neighborhood around the, the point x, and uh, that's the orange neighborhood. Obviously, we need a radius that's small enough to make sure that this neighborhood is within the bigger one. So in order to do that, we can say that, first of all, we can define this distance as the distance between x0 and x. So the distance that's left over from that point to the circumference that we could essentially use as the radius is going to be epsilon, which is the total distance, minus d of x0 comma x. So as long as we take a radius that's smaller than that, then we can prove that every point in that orange neighborhood is also going to be within the, the bigger neighborhood. So we're going to say that we take epsilon dash, and epsilon dash is a radius, so it's greater than 0. And we also want to make it small enough, so we make it smaller than epsilon minus the distance between x0 and x. And remember that what we're trying to prove is that every point that's in this neighborhood is also in the bigger one. So then we take a point y, which belongs to this neighborhood with radius epsilon dash. And we have to prove that it's also going to belong to the bigger neighborhood. And we can do that through the triangle inequality. So we can just copy the triangle inequality that we just wrote above.
And um, if we look at the distance between x0 and, um, uh, and x, that one is, um, is this distance that we wrote over here. Then the distance between x and y, we don't know exactly what that is. But because we know that y is in the neighborhood of x, it's definitely going to be less than the radius of that neighborhood. So this one, we're just going to leave it the way it is. This one over here is less than epsilon dash. And if it's less than epsilon dash, then it's also going to be less than this one. And if you now add together this portion and this portion, we can cancel out the d of x0, comma x, and say that overall, this is going to give us something that is smaller than epsilon. So if we now rewrite it, The distance between x0 and y was smaller or equal to all of this. And so that means that it has to be smaller than epsilon. So because this was less than epsilon, then the distance between x0 and y is less than epsilon. And so that's going to confirm that uh, the vector y is going to be within the, the bigger neighborhood. So if it's within the bigger neighborhood, then that means that all of these points in the orange neighborhood are also going to be in the, in the bigger neighborhood. So that means that our point X is interior. And, and therefore, if all the points in this neighborhood are interior, then the set is going to be open. So our original neighborhood with radius epsilon around X0 is going to be open because every point satisfies the definition of interior point.